My name is Kenneth Bird, company of Crystal Edge Technology Springs. Man, we got the good weather today. So we're going to be outside today on the Black Nova 135 inch screen. As I said before, you know, gray screens, white screens are obsolete, especially if you're going to be using them outside, they're definitely obsolete. That's that red technology we developed right there, Project 77. If you want to go against that again, uh, sure enough, we'll, we'll put you against it. But anyway, so we're going to go outside. And as I said before, you know, in that demonstration, and keep in mind, my friend, don't say I'm jealous. I'm not jealous of what you got. You don't have anything. Because, as I said before, the screen paints that you're making, that you have now, we made that eight years ago. I can make all your products. I did. We had Prime Vision 3.0. We were able to make your products with no problem. And most of your products are just Prime. That's the primer. That's all it is. So no one's jealous of your product. I can't be jealous of something that I made eight years ago. Can't be jealous of that. I'll tell you one thing. I guarantee you that the Cinemax is basically a screen paint we used to make called uh, White HD 3.0. We used to make a product that's exactly like your product. I guarantee when we get in here and we make it, I guarantee it blends in perfectly. So you can't be jealous of something that you already made already. Those great screen paints been there and done that. But you're claiming the people that you can basically produce a contrast level equal to a black screen that you could uh, pull contrast, contrast in color better than a black screen. That's what you're telling people. We're just basically going to be reviewing your products. That's all. Uh, just cleaning up my little mess in here. That's all we're going to be doing. It's just reviewing your products. So this is going to be coming up next. Probably around 7 o'clock, we're going to be setting up the projector. I already have it set up over here. We're going to be outside with a Chrissy uh, LWU420. And we're going to do the demonstration on star fields. We're going to do the demonstration on contrast levels, OLED demonstrations, white levels, colors, the whole nine yards, everything. Why am I carrying this around the house? And we're going to be out there today on that screen right there. Since you have made this claim that your gray screen paints are the best outside, no, they're not. They're the worst. And honestly, we got some primer here, don't we? Yes, we do. We got a primer screen in here. We use this one, that one, that right there. And I got a screen in here. What is this? Oh, this is our 3.0. That's our 3.0 on there. That's the 3.0. That's the one that costs $45, $48. That's a Beecher product. We're going to bring that out there too. Yeah, I stopped making these uh, accusations. As a matter of fact, we got a silver screen here too. This is that silver paint. The other fellow was talking about was a good a good product right there. The silver paint. We're going to use that outside too. And I think we'll use a couple white screens too. I got a couple white screens. Actually, I got that big 135 inch. We'll use that one right there. Four K Tropical Fish YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. You got so much you got to catch up to. Right now, you still have to finish that demonstration on showing your customers that your UV mix can pull off a proper white level because that stuff comes up really, really dirty. That is a very, very dirty product. And you have to be to show something better than that than doing them demonstrations on that screen. That screen comes up very dirty. I think I'm gonna do some gaming in a few minutes. But Dad, that's just a fast, short update. Next demonstration we're going to be doing, we're going to be outside uh, with the gray screen paint mixes and our Black Nova. 
to show you that no, you do not want to be outside. I'm going to white screen up there too. You do not want to be outside using a gray screen paint mix or a gray screen paint product or a gray projection screen or white screen. Best screen to be the, uh, the perform that have the best picture quality is on a black screen. Make sure we got that all standing correctly. Oh, one's down there that locked. Look at that. See how beautiful my screen is in the Fortnite environment? I don't know how we're eating with that demonstration outside. You can't even go inside. This is how your screen is supposed to look inside your house beautiful nice and beautiful not basically faded not washed out none of that nonsense which you can't you can't do at all i gotta get set up because i'm gonna be testing i want to test out more demonstrations on that other technology for uh project 77 i really haven't had a chance to get around to play with that screen all that much can sit there and watch my beautiful screen and I put it in the environment. Yeah, so we're going to be outside today. I got to do some more demonstrations on some white screens, but I definitely got to do some more demonstrations on gray screen paint products because like I said, no point in ruining your screen on something that can't really put its image outside to so be some money for the time. You don't know nothing about that. I can come on here, set my projector up while I display my screen here and get ready to play my gaming system over there in a fully lit environment. Something your screen paints can't do. You can't be out in this much light because your screen's a wash out. I don't know what in the world gave you the insane idea that you thought a gray screen was going to pull up outside. Gray screens do is similar to the same thing as white screens do outside. Can't put in projector. contrast levels no colors at all and like I said you need to get cracking on that UV mix because like I said you should be showing customers your white levels on that dark screen paint that's got to be displayed how beautiful that looks my projector this setup right here my projector is cheaper than yours it's a lower grade projector than yours, and my screen is way bigger than your screen. And I'm using 10 times more light. Well, not 10 times. I say twice as much or three times as much light in my environment than you're using in that dark. Look at that. You got a P2. I got an NEC projector 720p XGA. Your screen's 100 inches. Mine's 148 inches. Your screen sits in the dark. Mine sits in a fully lit environment. Your projector sits right up on top of the screen. My projector sits around four feet away from my screen. That's the difference on what I do and what you do. There we go. I'm going to grab, let me see, I got everything here. Right there and there and there. Oh, I forgot. Your projector cost what? And I still have a bigger screen than yours and better picture. I don't have to be in the dark. I 
that's why I noticed when I watch a lot of these demonstrations, not only with him, <coughs> at least with the companies, <coughs> they don't claim to be something that they're not. They actually say what they are. They do. I read their pamphlets. They say exactly what the screens can do. You know, the other hand, you lie. Since your products can pull a star field equal to a black screen, you will have no problems outside today. No, that'd just be too easy. Let me put this other one on. <laughs> See how deep blue those levels are? It's a 148 inch screen. Your screen paint wouldn't be to produce that deep blue. Virtually impossible, you can't pick it up. 148 inch screen, big screen, have an issue with color. And I'm happy that you got that video. You posted that video of that customer. Because like I said, your contrast levels aren't supposed to look that way. So as you can see, not only your videos with your colors fade, but basically in a customer's demonstration, they fade it badly too, very badly. I'm pretty sure he got a look at that demonstration of my 135 outside on the deck that was displaying all the gaming demonstrations off of it. Yeah, that's how your screen's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like a TV. Also, too, at the bottom of those uh, videos, I dropped a bunch of links, a whole bunch of links in there. Like I said, we can back up everything we can do because there's test demonstrations of everything we've done. So, got no problem doing that one. Look at this. We got the screen here. Look at the, look at the PS4 in the next room. Look how beautiful that looks. You can't do that. That's the problem. So, what we're talking about is a fellow go by the name of Pro 1176 that claims this product does not require ambient light rejection technology that he can produce bright beautiful images in fully lit environments and after what I've seen from his demonstrations majority of the demonstrations are done in the dark uh, we don't use expensive projectors no need to use them why well, pay the money for something that you know the technology we have here can do, can do the job just as equal as an expensive projector it's not needed, you can save money. The reason why companies use the most expensive projectors they can get their hands on is because their screens are lacking and they need those projectors to be able to produce those images. That's why. You don't require it. He wouldn't have any problem with going in and redoing the video demonstration that I'm doing. But his products don't work. And that's why all he can do is basically attack us on levels that, you know, I guess he feels fit that pretty much doing some damage to us. Oh, by the way, that's the red projection screen. That screen's actually literally red. 
let's go over here and let's put your product right in the center of this blue display just to see if the screen can produce the exact same blue that we're seeing here on the screen. It's going to fall off, trust me. I know that. It's, it's, it's got temperature, it's very heavy. But as you can see, it can't pull the blue at all. Look at that. Look how bad that is. It's not even seeing any of the color in the screen producing off my projector. Nothing. Not a thing. There we go. Fade it all the way across my screen. Over here, we have red technology. This technology is a little different. This is a Project 7. Pretty sure you should stick to this one a little better. This screen is red. It's a reddish, it's kind of a reddish screen. It's a weird kind of red to it. See if we can get you to stick to this one. Oh yeah, you can stick to this one quite nicely. Quite perfect. All right, so that right there is a Project 77 technology right there. That screen is literally red. All right. So let's see how you work with a Project 77 technology. This is the one we gave you a choice of whether yes or no, if you wanted to go against the screen. And you chose, you didn't say anything at all, bottom line. I'm gonna let this one continue to play over here. And we're gonna go over to this one right here. And there's nothing, keep going up, keep mind people, there's nothing wrong with the P2 projector. The P2 projector works perfectly fine. The problem you have is this screen does not have the ability to be able to pull a proper image. There's my 720p projector at 18 feet back on 126 inch sitting in the bay of windows. Displaying the uh, dashboard from the PS4. I told you, in basic demonstrations that I do, just me walking around the house, that's a challenge for you. Your products can't pick up in here. Your products can't even pick up on that. Oh, we can't wait to get the Cinemax over here. That thing's gonna really go through something. Like I said, it's gonna do some stuff. And we might even design a screen paint just to basically play around with it. We'll oh, we're gonna test against everything in the house. I don't do that whole test it against whatever screen it's gonna come up the best. No, we're gonna run it through the grinder. It's gonna go against every screen, even the, some of the test ones, which Project 77, which it'll go against. Look at that. Do you think that this screen is displaying a black level? Do you think your screen paint pulls a black level? Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. 120, 248 inch screen, and you're not picking up nothing on it, on my projector. That's, that's pretty sad, man. And you want to go outside against the Black Nova. All right. You didn't want, you didn't want to make the claim that your product could basically produce better contrast than a Black Nova. We'll see. We'll go outside today. And until then, like I said, you need to start doing those demonstrations. You need to start backing your product. You need to start, you need to bring out that demonstration against that, uh, that, uh, we're gonna call it mud paint, because that's what the UV is mud paint. It is mud paint. It comes up really, really filthy dirty. You need to do some demonstrations on some white levels on that. Because that paint is very, very muddy. You know how beautiful it is? You can show a deep blue aquarium on 148 on a cheap little projector like that.
Now this right here is the red technology. See how that screen looks? See how beautiful that screen is? It has a nice red to it. That's a project. 77. That screen right there is only 1% done. 1%. We have never finished it. It's 1% done. That screen would crush your screen with, and actually, matter of fact, all your products in one hit. And that screen's red. It's a new form of black technology we're experimenting with. You're worrying about these different mixes, the same mixes you got. I can come out here with new technology that fast and display it. We got a liquid screen in there. We haven't even had a chance to play around. We haven't scratched the surface on that stuff yet. And that stuff comes in multiple colors. Now let's see. The radical left is trying to come out of here for a minute. Let's go over to color red. And we just had that surface right there when I moved it. It's going to be great. This last second bake sale, it's going to be great. What do you think will happen against that red screen right now? How badly do you think your color will wash out? I think it'll wash out pretty bad. If it's gonna wash out against this, it's definitely gonna wash out pretty bad. Remember what you said. Your product produces the best color, best contrast, better white levels than any screen out there on the market. Where's your color? nothing there maybe we need to calibrate our projector darken the environment maybe we should do that I bet you your white levels are way too high you want to check it out see how your white levels are coming up yep white levels are way too high so that means blue screen Blue screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. What's going to happen? Nothing. Can't show color. I told you. I don't know where in the world you're getting in your head that you're lying to people, telling them that your products can see color. They can't. This technology right now we're using right now is a Project 77. It's one percent. Hasn't even scratched the surface on what it can do yet. And at 1%, it's turning your screen, your screen's pulling no color next to it. It doesn't even match a normal color ready projection screen. For some reason, you can't see color. You know why? Because primer can't see color either. Everyday house paint can't see color. Doesn't have that capability. Green screen, saver. Let's see if we did a matrix on here, what we get. See, can't pull contrast, can't pull any color. 
Meanwhile, my other screen over here is doing this. There's one in the next room over there. So how do you clean that to be able to pick up an image outside? Let me back it up and show you how much light we got in the environment. So we can show you, we're not, or you can see we're not sitting in the dark. Let's come over here to see if we can get some more colors. We got another green screen popping up. Look at that. Don't even show nothing. No color. Look at that. Nothing at all. That's sad. This is supposed to be your product, right? That's your personal mix. Personal mix is supposed to be your best screen paint. This is why I tell people, buyer beware. People who hype up their products to be something that they're not. People who don't do proper tests on their products. This is what you gotta worry about. When you got somebody who's constantly doing demonstrations in the dark, constantly using certain selective projectors, don't do swap outs in the middle of videos, don't do tests on high performance screens. People who do demonstrations like that are hiding something. Deleted videos, yeah, we posted the deleted video. You can go watch it for yourself on screen paint that he was basically giving away for free that matches his product. That's a scammer right there, right from the door. You only delete stuff when you gotta hide stuff. So this is the person you need to watch out for. His UV mix doesn't produce a white level at all, and no level whatsoever. Can he show you a demonstration from his point of view of an all-white screen with the UV mix in the middle? He's not going to show you that. Can he show you a demonstration with the personal mix, Metallica mix, or any other screen paints, and a starkle demonstration showing contrast levels in a fully lit environment? He's not going to show you that. Can't do it. That screen is literally red and it's producing a better color than your screen. Let's go over to, let's see if we can pull up some other interesting, oh, this is an interesting screen saver. Let's go over to, let me see, we got anything else here. Starfield screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. Ooh, is that a concert or something? here for a minute. See if this contrast levels a pull. Something to pull. This is why you want to mess with great screen paint products. As I before, no contrast, no color whatsoever. cut this short because like I said I don't want to go into this demonstration we got to be outside today that's really bad look at that that is really really bad that's the same thing that screen did outside but we'll be running this demonstration just like this outside see exactly if this product does what it's supposed to do and I will be doing us a few Batman demonstrations with Bane and so forth the tumbler scene some real dark contrast demonstrations to see if these gray screen paint mixes he claims he makes well, he does make, but he claims can pull these images up equal to a black screen. We'll see. All right. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time, and I got to go.